lesson is about functions again, but it's about learning to code with uh, code walls. So the best way to learn to code is strangely to code, right? It's not that to sit there and read a book and look at theory, um, although going through some of the solutions and things uh, on on this website on W3C schools is very helpful. It gives you examples and things like this. Um, but once you've kind of read that and understood the structure and you can write the basic things you need to write, the best thing you need to do after that is just code. So what I'm going to show you today is the solution to the calculator problem, which was in the last video. And then I'm going to introduce this shark problem, uh, which asks you to write a function that takes in five variables. And these variables are of different types. So you can see that parameters can be of any type. And you can have as many or as little as you like. And this, this function is basically going to calculate um, whether you jump, when you jump in the water, whether a shark is going to eat you and you, or you'll be able to swim to safety before it gets to you. It's a problem that comes from Code Wars. Um, Code Wars is a great website with all these kind of problems on. Um, I recommend going and having a look at it. I put a link in the article, um, which is linked below. Um, and if they have all these problems, like they have different ratings. 8KYU is the easiest, but it's still quite hard, especially if you're a beginner. So have a look at those ones. You can filter by uh, problems. So if I click on practice, I can actually uh, choose my difficulty level, 8KYU. The easiest and then I can say say if I wanted to practice functions it will find me all the problems that are involved with making functions which is basically everything on here um and 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 uh yeah and it gives you a description of the problem and then and once you've logged in you can then uh train on it and you can try it out so, but I've taken I've gone through spent some time going through um with this uh, long, I've got this big long list of catas that I think are suitable for beginner level programs who are learning about functions. And um, I'll also post some of these links to these other ones um, on this tutorial as well. So I recommend you do all of them. Get stuck. Post a link to your replit um, in the comments below this video. Uh, and uh, maybe I will be able to help you. So let's get back to here. So what we're going to do here, we add create an add function. Now I said in the last uh, exercise sheet in the last video, you need to create a function to divide. So it's going to turn an integer and it's going to be called divide. And it's going to take two numbers, number one and number two. And we're going to return the result of that, which is num1 divided by num2. And then I'm going to just copy this because we can just kind of make just a few changes and it will become multiply. So I say multiply. And then I'm going to change the sign to a star. And then we want to subtract. So I'll change the name of it, function to subtract. And then instead of divide, I'm going to do minus so num1 minus num2. So these are all the functions you need to create a calculator. They take in two parameters and they do different things. This one adds, this one divides, multiplies and takes away from one from num2. Then I said back in your main function, you want to ask the user whether they want to, which function they want to do. So you're going to have to say uh, console.writeLine. Uh, and here we need to say, uh, what operator do you want? One or add two for one for add plus two for divide. Three, four, multiply, four, four, subtract. And then we need to get their answer. So we're going to get the, um, we're going to store their answer in an integer. It's called operator 
So we're going to say we need to cast this in dot pass. Um, and we're going to say console dot read line. We're going to get that input. And then based on what they say they want, um, operation. So I didn't think it liked operator. That might have been a reserved keyword. Sometimes if you use a reserved keyword, you will get a complaint from the compiler because it doesn't it can't you can't use that as a variable name. And I think operator was a reserved one. I'm not sure what for them. Then we need to use this statement. Perhaps there are many ways you can do this. And I could say if operation equals one, then we're going to call oh, we need to get the numbers first. So console the right line. Enter two numbers and then num one, num two, and then if they say they want to do one, we are going to call up add and pass in num one and num two, and then I'm going to Console dot right line that whole function call so you print whatever is returned. And then else two, what do we do for two? Uh, one for add two. Two for divide, just separating these out. Three for star, four for minus. So two for divide. Three for multiply. Four for subtract. So it's depending on which operator we push, it's going to call one of these functions. Now, of course, you could make this even more complicated, put this whole thing into a one loop and keep looping until they press a different number to quit. So that could be something you could add to that. So let's run this, just check it works. Hello, it does all the stuff we were doing before, and then it says what operators you want. One for add to one. I'm going to say three, four, seven. You get back. So there you go, our calculator works now. And obviously, this will work for any of these other operations. We want, we want multiply, so it's three for multiply. Four and five will be 20. There you go. Yeah, so that's how you create the calculator solution. Right, so if you answer that one. Now let's look at this problem here. So uh, have a look, have a look in the link below and read this yourself. But basically the situation is, and this is from Code Wars, what they love doing, what they do is they, they come up with a a situation or um, a description, uh, you know, and they uh, it, it's not always this much information, but uh, you then have to kind of you then have to write the code that, that that will produce the right solution for this problem. So you read the problem and then you look at the function and then you write the code in the function so that it returns the correct thing, depending on what is input for pontoon distance, shot distance, u, speed, shot speed and dolphin. Right. Um, and the idea of this function is that when you jump in the water, you sort of jump in the water and you, and you jump in and there's a pontoon, which is a um, certain number of pontoon distance away here. And there's a shark that that's its distance from uh, it to the pontoon. And then there's your speed and there's the shark speed. And you're basically both swimming towards the pontoon. Uh, there's also something called dolphin, which comes in a second. 
if you if you you need to do that calculation to calculate your the time it will take you so you've got your speed and your distance so to calculate the time um well speed equals distance over time so if you rearrange that um time equals distance uh distance to, distance divided by speed right so you can calculate how much time if the shark's time is less than your time then you will get eaten because it will get there quicker however if you if your time is less than the shark's time then you will survive and the function needs to either return alive or shark bait depending on what these are now there's this other thing they throw in there so it's nice but it's nice this function so you can see that you can have multiple parameters in a function not just one or two and they can also be a different type so not just integers not just strings but also boolean now if there's a dolphin that will slow the shark down um uh, so it will go half the speed so it will take twice the amount of time so you have to write the code in here to solve that on code wars of course if you want to do this in replit um, go and look at this. This is exactly the same problem that I've, I've copied and pasted here. And then you can copy this to Replit like this. Um, I'll copy it in here. And then once you've once you've come up with the solution, you then need to test this out. So um, in the bottom bit of Code wars. There's. They always have these. Uh, this sample testing thing here. Now these are something called unit tests, and what they do is they call up your function with these variables like twelve fifty four a and true, and they and with that combination of those variables, they expect the function to return a lie, because after doing the calculations with these variables, uh, it turns out that the shark is slower than you, and therefore you survive. So. If you wanted to do this in Replit, you could you could call your function. Let's do it at the beginning. Um, the function is called shark. And um, when I when I call those, I'm going to do console.write line. And I'm going to print off the everything that is returned from that function. So what's returned from that function should be either live or shark name. Right, but of course it's not going to work yet because we haven't written the function. So I'm going to let you think about that and then post a solution to this in the next video, uh, which I will do at some point uh, soon. And uh, if you think you've got the solution to it and you want me to check it, put it in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Now I'm going to stop the video. There you go.